Hey guys, Beardless John here. Today we are going to be going over a test for checking your cervical extension range of motion. So I'm gonna show you this from a side perspective so that you can see it a little bit better, but the uh, mechanics should remain the same. So you're sitting upright, preferably with something against your back just to kind of keep your spine in line all the way up. You're going to think of just looking straight ahead at eye level, then kind of like retract your chin into your neck. Okay, so it's not quite the same thing as a chin tuck. You're actually retracting back, right? And what this does is it brings your neck to neutral. So then truly all we have is a nice arc through cervical extension. Instead of having this um, chin kind of forward, if I just extend from here, you see, I only go so far, right? And it's kind of like I'm just hinging at one specific spot in my neck, right? Rather than going through an entire range of motion. So that's why we retract the chin first, and then you're going to look up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna look down. You're gonna do this for three to five times, taking note of how it feels in general, but especially between say the first rep and the last rep and see do the restrictions that I feel change at all? What am I noticing discomfort limitation wise? And then after going through a triplet to improve some of that mobility, then you're going to do this test again and see how it feels compared to the first time you did it. So again, you're gonna retract your chin and look towards the ceiling and then come back down. Really think of like you're traveling along an arc. So my neck's retracted. Rather than just hinging at one spot to look up towards the ceiling. All right. And that is the cervical extension range of motion test.